How's it going, everybody? It's me, Shane, and I'm here to give you another Spy Family episode review and recap. Today's episode is episode 5, Will They Pass or Fail? And before I get right into this episode, please, don't pass by that like button. I need you to hit it. It helps other people see the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell to be notified of more videos just like this. And give me a comment. I want to know what you think of the show, the episode, or how am I doing right now. Feedback is important. And don't forget to share. Wow. I am wearing my Powerline shirt today because I felt like, I was like, you know what? This show's kind of nice and sweet. It's nostalgic in a weird way, even though it's it's pretty new. Um, don't remember when the manga came out. I'm just going to assume the manga came out somewhere between 2016 and 2018. That's usually the anime timeline for these sort of things. But yes. Yes, and I cannot wait to talk about this episode because, without a shadow of a doubt, this is the best episode so far. So, um, Eden College, they're putting up their results today, and the very interesting thing is, apparently, I guess we're hearing the voice of the big boss of the WISE, W-I-S-E, um, spy company, spy corporation for Westelia, um, this Young woman informs him about today being the day at 1,200 hours. That's when the listings go out. And the boss is like, well, you know, you're pretty close to Twilight, aren't you? And she kind of stumbles a little bit. This might be the woman I've been hearing about within my research that has a thing for Lloyd. Has a thing for our good buddy Twilight and uh, doesn't really approve of Mama-san. You're over here, but we'll get to that somewhere down the line, right? But... She, uh, it, it's, you know, she's saying, yeah, I know him. He's in the, the guy who I'm going to call him, uh, upper boss man. He basically said, yeah, he's might be the best agent we have. I'm not worried about it. He's going to give us the secret password, which is the Sakuras are in bloom. That means they have passed. <clears throat> and while he's saying all this, the family's walking and Lloyd is like, man, this is nerve wracking. And yours, yours bracelet breaks. And he's like, Oh, don't worry about it. And then a black cat walks past them. She's like, Lloyd saw. He's like, that's just superstition. And I goes, Papa, I stepped in poop. And she has this look of just distraught. And they blurred out the poop. But she did step in poop. Was it dog poop or did a human just walk by and go, and then walk away? Who knows? The uh, artist for this, Tetsu, Tetsuya uh, Endo, he admits that he draws char his character's feet are pretty tiny when he draws them. So... He is like the reverse uh, Rob Liefeld. If you don't know who he is, look him up. Man, that guy doesn't know how to draw feet. <clears throat> but anyway, they go there and Lloyd goes, her name's not up there. And then that's when our intro pops in. Boy, oh boy. Um, and their faces are just like blanched and distraught. Now, some people were saying that... Um, between Studio Clo uh, between Cloverworks and I can't remember the other studio that does this. It's Cloverworks and the another studio. I think it was one of the studios that worked on the Attack on Titan anime for a season this last season coming up that came up. Uh, but people are noticing differences between funny faces and some of the episodes of funny faces like right now. I'm okay with it. I have no issues with how they're being portrayed like, oh man, this is like shocking them. It looks different from the manga, but that's that's okay. I do hope to start reading the manga when I have time. Um, but yeah, after the intro, they walk away and, and each of their in, in each of their heads they're like, We failed. But Anya says it out loud. She's like, We failed and Lloyd's like, Hey, let's just get out of here and Yor takes her by the hand. It's like I'll make us some tea and she says, Papa, I'm sorry I didn't get it because I stepped in poo and she just has this wobbly eye cry face. Not the serious cry face from last episode with that jerk face, Mr. Swan, but the, the funny cry face. And then it's Mr. Henderson, Mr. Elegant himself says, hold on a second, come over here. And informs them that, shows them a list, that Anya's name is at the very, very top. <clears throat> and he's like, so what's, what's this list? It is the waiting list. They always have a waiting list, but how they decide who's on the waiting list <clears throat> is based on scores. Based on Anya's scores, she she is number one. So if someone drops out, which he guarantees they will because they always have a few dropouts, she's going to get in. Uh, he also informs him 
you know, uh, another reason why her scores boost up is because he does he does such a nice roundabout way. He says, "What is the most deadly creature to you know on our planet? Mosquitoes." And he says, "Mr. Forger, you know you uh, saved Mr. Swan from one of those creatures when he punched the thing. It wasn't blood from his hand. He was he actually did kill a mosquito, which is." Which is kind of funny because Lloyd was thinking like they had bombed it. He had really thought they guaranteed that they weren't going to get accepted. But <laughs> Mr. Henderson explains it that way. He says, yeah, you did. You saved him from such a deadly fate. And Lloyd, Lloyd's like, that is so absurd. But he's like, yeah, you know, someone's going to drop out. And we get, which is actually funny because uh, he says you saved Mr. Swan from a brutal killer back there. Which is true on two accounts because you probably would have killed that guy. And, yeah, mosquitoes are deadly, blah, 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 blah. He probably did end up saving him from Yor and from himself. <clears throat> but, yeah, um, Yor starts thinking about killing a person. She's like, but if she doesn't get in, if no one drops out, hmm. And she fantas she's fantasizing, thinking, daydreaming about killing this man named Mr. Feist. And he's like, wait, my son just got accepted at Eden's college. If I die, he won't get in. She's like, I'm sorry, but that's what this is about. I got to do it for Anya's sake. And she shakes her head. And everybody's looking at her like, you're all right? And she's like, no, I'm fine. She's like, I'm sorry, Mr. Zachary Feist. And she's like, I can't kill an innocent person. And Anya just has this look on her face like, she has like shock, but it's like a weird, funny smile. Like, uh -huh. um, But Mr. Elegant Henderson says, There's someone, like I said before, someone's going to drop out. But probably by the time they get in, he might not be teaching that anymore. He's like, why? He's like, well, I had to give Mr. Swan a thrashing, which we remember, got punched in the face. He punched him in the face for being a jackass to Anya and causing into question the school's elegance and how the standards for the teachers. He's like, yeah, I had to punch him in the face and uh, we get some overlap. I wish whoever does the captions for the subs on Hulu, you need to take some pointers from Netflix. And this is funny because Netflix needs to do what Hulu does with the simulcasting. But I'll get in that, into that probably in a different video. But you guys got to do something with the uh, with the captions. Because sometimes you the way you overlay it is not well. It's okay to put like, if someone's speaking out loud and someone's having the thought, put the thought up top and put the other one at the bottom. Yeah, you might be saying to yourself, oh, we're going to split and avert your eyes doesn't matter people who watch movies with subtitles or watch closed captions we can follow both it'll be okay and i guarantee that there are people like me who rewind to make sure they caught everything i even do that when i'm not doing videos right the only time i can't do it is when i'm in a movie theater i digress though <clears throat> uh lloyd was thinking yeah if that guy mr swan gets in my way i'll have to destroy him and so elegant you know he offers he says anything i can do he says, it's all right, my elegant boy. Just stay by the phone and wait. Three days later, we have cute Anya doing her her prayer dance, saying she's going to get in. And, you know, they're both kind of looking at her. You're smiling, but Lloyd's kind of like sweat drop smiling. The phone rings, and he runs so fast that he spins her around, and she loses her Mr. Chimera toy to the air. Of course, Yor has to catch her. Yes, yes, thank you. Hangs up the phone, takes out confetti. She got in. Frankie, who was a really good informer, informant, was at the door. He's like, yeah, I heard she got in. He's like, dang. He's like, don't underestimate me. He's brought alcohol. He's like, by the way, I've called for takeout. So he meets Yor for the first time. Frankie and Yor get drunk. I'm talking just done. To the point where Frankie's like, it's a good thing I stole those answers so she could get in. And he's like, hey, she gonna hear you. And she's slurring her words. She's like, what does that just say? Love it. She's like, she's gone, he's gone. I love the fact that Yor is a wine mom. She's 29, 28, almost 30 or whatever, but she is a wine mom, and I love it. Such an uh, interesting personality trait that I didn't think would matter, and it does because it adds to her so much. Another thing, I don't know if you guys realize it just like I did. Their names are Forger, like Forgery. I, it's, for some reason, every time I heard Forger, I was thinking about Folger's Coffee. But no, it's Forger, like forgery. They're fake family, but they have real bonds, like Bond Man. We're going to get to that later. So, 
Um, Frankie also then says, hey, Anya, your papa will buy you anything since you got in. It was like, why are you coming with the problem? She's like, I don't want you to buy me something, but I want to do something. And I guess the way they play tapes is kind of like old, like cassette players. If you anybody's ever seen how you how you do things with a cassette player, they do it like they do that for the tapes. And she plays an episode of Bond Man, where he has to rescue Princess Honey from this Count guy. And yeah, that's the name of the guy from Spy Wars. He's Bond Man. All the names in their credits are in English too. And it's this giant castle. She's like, I want to play save Anya from you know from the castle. And Lloyd's like, no. And she starts, she gets, she starts crying, and Frankie comes in. She's like, "Oh, Papa, if you know, if I can't do this, I will not go to school." He's like, "Don't put words in her mouth." He's like, "Look, man, I'm pretty sure they actually refurbished that castle so people could, you know, do stuff in it. On top of that, um, you can rent the place out." And so Anya's sniffling, and Frankie's playing. He's like, "It doesn't seem fair that you did all this work and you can't." Do the thing that you want, huh, kiddo? They're doing a really good guilt trip because it's like, sniffle, sniffle. And he's like, all right, fine. And he's like, cool, we're going to do it today. I'll set everything up. And he's like, oh, okay. And so I, you know, I'm just feeling better. You know, the cry face goes to the regular blush, goes to the smile. And Lloyd calls in to tell them, you know, the G005, that's the soccer rose, are blossoming. But he also has another message. And it's great. So they're going to set it up. All the spy speak. And this is at night now. They get, they have a plane. And yours, like, they're all dressed up in flight outfits. Uh, Anya has loaned a little cute earmuffs and a cute cap. And it's crazy. Because then, um, because then yours, like, so who, you know, you know, how'd you get this plane? And he's like, oh yeah, my, my coworkers are letting me use it. Now here's the funny part. She still has that bottle of wine in that wine glass with her. And she bows and thanks them and everything. And Anya's like, do I look cool? He's like, yeah, you, of course you look cool. No, she looks adorable. So they fly off. They're enjoying the flight. They get to the castle. They get inside the castle. And Anya and Frankie are running around. He's like, don't just run around with her. And then Anya stops. She's like, something isn't right. He's like, what? You know, you can't call this a castle if there's no servants. And nobody around. She's like, it just, it just doesn't make any sense. And um, Anya is sad. You know, Anya said he's like, nah, I can't go to school now. I love it. I love that she learns the guilt trip. And Frankie's like, Papa got to stamp stamp his game up. So he makes another call in to get every available agent that is in Oceania, Ostinia, sorry, to come over there. We're seeing people on. Planes, driving, running in the forest, on boats, helicarriers. It's like, this is important for the mission. We got to do it. It has to be done. And this is all Agent Rank Double S. They all are wearing costume and garb and everything. And it's set up. He's like, all right, I got this done. So uh, <laughs> Frankie says, all right, you go out. You, you talk to them, tell them, blah, blah, blah. Then I'll set the scenario. And so he's talking to everybody, and it's crazy because they all know him. They're like, oh, that's the real Twilight. He's like, I got to get his autograph after this. So he's talking to him here, but he's tapping his foot doing Morse code. First of all, these guys are really great spies to be like, oh, he's not just tapping his foot. He's doing Morse code. And he tells them, this is all for the mission. Just play along with it and do whatever the instructions tell them to do. And they're like, you know what? This is kind of weird, but you know what? It's Twilight. I trust Twilight. I trust that dude. Let's go. Goes over to my man, Frankie. And Frankie's like, by the way, I'm going to call him Scruffy Scruff, right? And he's like, I'm count. He's like, all right, so we're doing this game. Save Princess Anya. And she's going to explain what's going on. So it's Princess Anya. She had a little tight TR on. She's like, Count Scruffy Scruff has captured me. You guys all work for Count Scruffy Scruff. Lloyd Man. He's the Bond Man. Lloyd Man is going to save me. And Mama... Can be whatever. And it's so funny because she has this, what? She's, she now, see, when she got on the plane, she just had the glass. She now has a bottle of wine and the glass. So she is like drunk to the point of just having an ever present smile on her face. And so Frankie goes, yeah, stop him no matter what. Do your best. Make sure he doesn't capture, he doesn't uh, rescue Princess Anya. And everybody's like, 
Yeah, and this is this one guy in particular who was who was pretending to be a waiter. He's like, I can't wait. I get to I get to do this with Twilight. This is awesome. They're all like, "Yep." Everybody fans out. Everything starts. It starts off with a quiz because if he fails this quiz, he has to put on the Bond Man outfit. And the first one is like, uh, "What's the first question?" And it's so cute because they're on this. They're on these rail cards. One is like him following. Another one is <clears throat> like a blimp. And yours, so yours has been waving and just been cute the whole time. First one is, what design you like about Bond Man? His face? Wrong. He has a pistol with the silencer. All right, second question. What's your favorite food? He's like, peanuts. And he's like, okay. Frank is like, okay. What is it that Anya wants right now? And he's like, Bond Man spy gear? And he goes, what do you want, Princess Anya? And she's like, I'm thirsty. I want some water. He's like, how am I supposed to know that? Uphold your end of the bargain. And she's like, I can't wait to see Lloyd Madden in his costume. Has these, has these binoculars. He puts on the gloves and the mask. She's all into it. She loves it. It's great. It's cute. So he reached the end of the track. They reached, reached the other end. And it's now the second stage where he slides through. And there's this giant balls. Literally giant balls and spikes. And everyone's dressed up. You have Anya's bad pictures her horrible handwriting. I identify with that. Anya, don't feel bad. Uh, fictional character, right? And people dressed up like the agents from the show with the black hoods and everything. Kind of look like, um, kind of look like the henchman from Common Rider. But anyway, so they're all going in. They're like, you got to stop him from reaching this, to, from reaching us. So they go in. They got explosion with the balls, with the sand. One dude does an arm bar on him. Beats up the guy. It was the guy that that's his biggest fan. And he gets through. He's like, you gotta get us at the top, right? So he has to go through this this thing. They have ball launchers, and they're they're ball launching. They're looking at. It. He's just looking like, yeah. It's Lloyd. It's Twilight. He's able to grab one of the balls that was shot at him, hit a guy, take his gun, and he's shooting and just taking the guns as he shoots. And uh, Count Scruffy. It's just like, man, why don't let somebody hit you, damn it. This dude gets, Lloyd gets a guy to, he shoots a guy, gets him to shoot five balls in there, and he shoots those balls to hit Frankie in the face. He's like, all right, all right, bastard, I got you. And it's just so cute every time Anya's like, save me, Lloyd, man. So adorable. And so he gets to the top, and there's a there's a stretch runway. There, there are agents around the bottom, dressed as henchmen, and... Now you've come to the final thing. And she's like, save me, Lloyd, man. And he's like, I have to act out this in front of the other agents. This is embarrassing, but it's for the mission. And he's like, I, I'm come to save you, Princess Anya. Everybody loves him because all his co-workers are just like, oh, his amazing acting skills. I'm just like, wow. Dude is half-assing it. Not purposely half-assing it because he's just embarrassed to do it. And... Everyone's still praising him. So at this point, um, Count Scruffy's like, don't think that I don't have another obstacle for you. It's your Sita, the witch. Yours, drunken sway, is everything. Everything about it. Just animated very well. Looks amazing. Two thumbs up for that. And so, she does this super powerful kick that scratches his cheek and she's like anyone who wants to try to kidnap Anya-san won't leave here, won't leave alive he's like she's supposed to be a witch how is she doing physical attacks? she is laying into him she's doing kicks, she's doing kempo punches and all this other stuff he's like she's going to kill me but her heel she goes for like this this not a downward but an upward thrust kick her heel breaks she falls over. And Lloyd's like, you all right, you're? She passed out. She That's how drunk she is. She passed out. But she makes me wonder, whenever we get to our Mr. and Mrs. Smith-style revelation where they end up fighting in the, one another seriously, makes me wonder, how would he be able to get around her? Like, I don't even think he'd be able to shoot her because she's way too strong. She's the strong one in all of this. Also, there's actually, Anya actually has a ranking system. Uh, someone has the fan book. I would look up fan book. She has mom as like plus a thousand for strength or something. But 
her her smarts are lower than Anya. It's it's funny. It's funny and it's cute. Anyway, so she passes out. Frankie's the next one. He just simply punches Frankie in the face. And Anya's like, it's so exciting. And he's like, I've come to save you, Princess Anya. And all the others, they're all they're sniffling and they've got the little tears and they hit a button. And she goes, Papa. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm your dad in this situation. He doesn't get it, but the others get it. And they shoot a thing. All, they hit a button. All the lights go off. And fireworks. There's fireworks on the outside. And they make their way out there. And everyone says, congratulations, Anya-chan. And he's like, what is this? And I'm like, dude, do you not realize? Like, They're all playing along, but they all understand that. She got in. This is all for her as a celebration that she got into the school. That is a vital part of your mission. That this will end up being a memory. I hope you all don't foolishly actually, when this mission ends, actually break up as a family. But anyway, um, at the end of all this, they're sitting by a fountain, and Anya says, "You know, Frankie, yours on the, is on the couch, and Frankie is like on the couch too, because he got." Got punched. He's, he was very much drunk. He got punched. And um, Anya says, you know, she's had so much fun since she's left the orphanage thanks to him. And he says, well, he's happy for her. She says, I will do my best in school. And he congratulates her and gives her that head pat hug kind of thing. And she's it's adorable and it's a great way to end off the episode. Except the lady who I suspect has feelings for Twilight. She gets the invoice, and the invoice, I see like 8000 or something, but it might be more zeros. And she hands it to the big boss. She's like, this is the expenses for uh, what Twilight needed for the mission. And dude's like, this is it? Yep. Is this where? Yep. And that's when the episode ends. Episode ever. Phase one of Operation Strix achieved. Not achieved. Achieved. And that's where the episode ends. Um, next episode, we're going to see... A person that Anya calls Big Boss because she's had great, great panels in the manga, especially when questioning villains, talking about her and Lloyd coming from war torn countries. Really nice. I like I like this character. She might be, if not my favorite, second favorite character. I like this lady, um, from what I've read and I've seen, she's gonna show up. Then Desmond's kid's gonna show up, and then uh, the Anya's friend is gonna show up. It's called Friendship Scheme, and then it looks like some guy's going to try to kidnap Anya, and it looks like yours is going to get to some killing. Ooh, yeah. Uh, I told you very in the beginning, this episode is the best episode so far. Episode 5, this is literally the best episode. I, I'm giving this a 5 out of 5, automatically. I'm probably going to end up watching this again later on today. I still got to watch uh, episodes 4. Of Shikimori and Skeleton Knight in an, in another world, but yeah, for sure, for sure, best episode. Loved it. This is what makes them a fam. This is what part like I. This show is about fake family that has a real bond. That it's for a mission, but this is how the lies are contributing to them having actual fun. This is slowly going to break down Lloyd's whole standoffish doesn't really know how to emotionally respond because he was broken as a child. I I'm glad for that. Pretty soon we, we are going to get to like some your stuff with her brother and stuff like that. <sighs> Looking forward to all of this. But yeah, let me know what you thought of the episode in the comment section right down there. Please do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe, trying to get to 200 subscribers, and hit the notification bell to be notified of more things just like this. And please... Share the video so others can see what a great time we are having. As always, be good, be blessed, wash your hands, wear a mask, be safe out there, be good to yourself, be good to others. Thank you for taking some time out to spend some time with me. I'm glad we can see I2I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's kind of part of the reason why I wore the shirt, because they're seeing eye to eye. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.